Hey guys, and welcome to day 16 of the Wine with Mallory Advent Calendar. Uh, today, I am wearing these same clothes as I was in day 15 because it's the same day. And this is really comfortable, even though I pulled it out of the dirty clothes and it's Michael's. It works. He thinks it's so weird that I'm wearing uh, dirty clothes, but it works for me. I, I like it. It's so comfortable. I want to talk to you about Saturday. Saturday after, you know, we went shopping all day and we we had we had a, a date day. It, it's our way of going on a date, but it's at home. So we go to Sam's and get some pre prepared uh, pre prepared redundant much that that was dumb we get some prepared food and then we go to Oliver T's which is a small small specialty food store right next door it's been here forever and we get some cupcakes giant cupcakes they're this tall and this round they're they're the best seven dollars we will ever spend because it's date day date night Family day is followed by date night. I just, I have to talk to you about date day because it was out of line this time. Absolutely out of line. And the whole weekend was wasted after that. Or Michael was wasted. Or a little bit of both. A little bit of both. I'm also going to talk to you about another two buck chuck from Trader Joe's. This time we're doing the cab, Charles Shaw cab. That's what's in my glass. And my head, my little headpiece is on the other side. I, I don't really like it on this side because I set everything over there so I look that way and it's like shabam in your face. And there's nothing over there that I could shabam it in your face except for water. And this is not called water with Mallory. No, 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 no. So, date day. Date night. We started and got Michael to bed and everything was starting good. We got our stuffed flounder cooked up with green beans and we had a bread basket. Kind of like we were at a restaurant. Sam's hooks us up every time. It's so it's so delicious. 18 bucks and we had bread, dinner, and lunch. I swear we bought something else. I don't know. I had 18 bucks out the door. It was it was good. And we came home. We set a little mood music on. He cleans up the dining room a little bit. We set we sit with placemats and and candles and my wine and his beer and his beer is where I'm going with this story. He his secret Santa happens to be related to the owner of Dragon I believe it's Dragon Mead Brewery. It's who gave us the or, or who we bought the beer for our wedding from. It, it, they have good beer. I don't like beer. I don't drink beer. He gets a boner when he talks about this beer. It's that good. But he gets a boner pretty easily too. But it's just that good. So he got two of these for his secret Santa gift from a guy at work. He got the Crown Jewels IPA, which is, I believe, 7.5%. And then he got the original Sin or something, Sin Eater. He got the Sin Eater, and it's a dark, dark beer. And it's 11%. So we'll say date night started at, say it started at 8 o'clock. By three o'clock, he drank two, two of these. What are they, 60 ounces? It doesn't say. 
two of these and I'd say maybe there's eight ounces left in this one that he didn't drink because he kept saying once you pop this top the beer will go bad oh 64 fluid ounces I'm sorry so he drank 120 ounces of average probably 9% beer <sighs> he was hammered I should have done a wine with Mallory that night because it would have been flipping hilarious he was so drunk, so drunk, so drunk, I had to masturbate. That's how drunk he was. He slept, let's see, I went to bed at five o'clock. That's how long of a night it was. And he didn't come to bed with me. I don't know where he was. No, I do know where he was, in the bathroom over the toilet. It was a good time. <laughs> That's not even the funny part. The funny part is, is if Michael classifies you as a BFF, best friends forever, he will drunk dial you. And that when you get a phone call at 3 a.m., it, it kind of sucks because you're sleeping, and most people are. And then it's kind of like, Ah, uh, Shuplin loves me. Shoop dog. Ah, uh, he's he, I, he he he's my bromance. So Michael has this slight obsession with this guy named Trevor at work. He loves him. He loves him to death. Oh my goodness, it's a bromance gal pal relationship. It, it was just when Trevor moved away for work. He, his heart was broken. He moped around the house. That poor guy. So he talks to Trevor whenever he can. Trevor called us in the middle of the night just to talk about a car, a stupid car. And I'm cool, very cool with any work-related phone calls. So, okay, Trevor's calling you. Not a big deal. It's, it's, you know, we're laying in bed. This is back when I used to go to bed with him. And... Trevor starts talking about a car and they keep going because they have a bromance they love each other they'd have each other's babies if they could I think I'm just a, a, a decoy and they just love each other that much but in all serious Trevor did step in for us because he's Catholic and confirmed and our godfather for Michael, he lives up in the UP, so he couldn't come down for the baptism. And you had to have a confirmed Catholic stand in for your godfather. And that is Trevor. So Trevor kind of is special to our family. Sort of. He is in the pictures of Michael being baptized. So he, he can't go anywhere. They they have to they have to be a bromance or or I don't I don't know what would happen. It it it's just a thing now. But we called him. I guess we didn't leave a voicemail because he's calling from my phone, not his phone. The one that they would actually pick up for because they know the phone number. They're calling calling from my phone. The phone number that. I, I don't make phone calls on, so we made more phone calls Saturday night than I have all month from my phone. We called Scott. Scott's his little golfing buddy. They go golf. It's cool, whatever. I don't think I've ever met him. But I left him a voicemail because I thought he was Trevor. So I started leaving him a Trevor voicemail. He's not Trevor. That was definitely Scott's phone. And he's keeping the voicemail. Keeping the voicemail. Talk about awesome right there. So then we called one of my BFFs, my BFFs that Michael referred to work at his company. 3 a.m., my phone number calls my BFF. She knows I don't ever use my phone. 
and she picks up. She didn't sound like she was sleeping though. She sounded pretty awake. So Lauren got a phone call, picked up. I hope she didn't think something was wrong with me. I would think something was wrong with me if my phone number called someone at 3 a.m. This is sort of my way of apologizing to all these people for my husband's behavior as well, even though they think it's funny. They, they talked about it. They laughed. Ha ha. It's a, it's a good time. Not so funny when it happens at my household. I don't, I don't like drunk dials. But then again, maybe I would now since I don't go to sleep until 3 o'clock, so it wouldn't matter for me. Then we called his BFFs outside of work, our wedding party. And the one BFF, the godfather, that we haven't seen in a year and a half. I told them that they both need to get over this get busy crap and get back to their butt love relationship. Which is funny. If you if you knew the relationship they had between the two of them. Mike is a crazy MFer. Holy smokes. Called Chris, Phil, Chris. Are you noticing a pattern here? Mike, Mike, Chris, Chris, Phil. Those are the wedding party names. So at the wedding, we call them Michael. Well, they call them Mike. One, two, three, and four. That's how we addressed our groomsmen. One, two, three, or four. Yep, that, that, was, that was my Saturday night, and uh, Michael was useless Sunday. So we didn't put up our treat. Our tree is officially up as of today. And you know what I found out? I am completely OCD over trees. Completely. I can't even sit here and say that it's my fault though. My mom, she's always had just this full, beautiful tree. And it has been uniform and beautiful. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous. It, it just... Martha Stewart type of tree. And her presents have giant bows on them. And each kid has their own color wrapping paper. And she gets the good wrapping paper, the nice and thick wrapping paper that I, I try to unwrap my presents so I don't wrap the paper so I can keep it it's that pretty her oh my goodness if I had the time to make it no I know because then it wouldn't be a special when we go over there so anyways we have this little Oh, it's not, it's not tiny, but it, it, it's a lot smaller. It's about half the size of the tree I'm used to. And it's artificial. So when you have artificial trees, you have to pull off the branches. And I'm, I'm really funny about lights. I want two rows of lights. I want them to be wrapped in the middle. You stick your hands in there and get the lights all the way around. And then you need to come back and do another layer on the outside so that you have lots and lots of lights and they need to be very pretty and I have what we've started is a red wine themed tree not red wine red bulbs silver with a silver accent and wine themed ornaments and I don't have garland yet he bought LED lights he sorta of gets a boner about lights you can ask Amy all about that I'm doing a campaign where we get paid when light bulbs and I'm totally cool with it because I get, I don't know, six LED light bulbs and that's a big deal in our household. Light bulbs are a big deal. They have to be LED lights. Oh, do they have to be LED lights? Do you know how many light bulbs I have in the basement that I can't use? Probably somewhere between 20 and 50 brand new light bulbs I cannot use. I have CFLs that I cannot use because we upgraded. And there are different levels of wattages and everything. And 
I just don't get excited about it, so I, I don't care. But LEDs, I know, are a big deal in our household. Whew. So I think my tree is ugly. I don't have a tree skirt. Michael, little Michael, doesn't have a stocking. Because last year he had baby's first Christmas stocking. And I didn't buy him a stocking. And, uh, yeah, I just put decorations up today. And when I was doing it, he didn't spread the branches out. And he, he, he just draped the lights on around the tree. And I went to put the ornaments on. And I was twitching. I was twitching so much that I dropped an ornament. They're plastic because we have cats. I dropped an ornament and said, okay, I have to step away from the tree because I am that upset. I'm that frustrated. It, this is not, not what I do for Christmas. I just, I, I got to go. And this would be where I, if I, if I smoked, I would have went and had a cigarette to deal with it. So I got on the computer instead and got some beaver love and, and that, the rest is history. It's okay. <sighs> but I think I need to go to counseling for my tree obsession. This Charles Shaw, it's not that bad. It's a 2011 cab, and it's good table wine. It's $2.99 at Trader Joe's. It's not awful. I let mine decant. There's, it's just an easy drinking red wine. Nothing bad to say, nothing good to say, or nothing stand out to say. I would buy it again. I would still never purchase the Merlot ever again, but the cab, I'd do the cab. So, $2.99, Trader Joe's, nice dark, dark wine. Go ahead, purchase it, enjoy it. Cheers, talk to you soon.